Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Today, we're going to be switching things up a little bit. I'm going to be starting the Mediterranean Keto Lifestyle. Uh, a little bit more vegetables. Uh, and my blood sugar has been really stable the past year from doing just a strict keto. But now I'm going to open up a little bit. I'm going to try different eth- ethnic foods. Um, stuff from Italy, uh, Spain, Greece. Uh, and it's basically called the Mediterranean diet, but we're going to do a keto style. There's certain things on a Mediterranean diet that if you're keto, you can't have. So anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be opening up uh, to a little bit different style of cooking. And we're going to start off here with roasted red peppers. Uh, these are gorgeous. Uh, a little bit more oils I'm going to be using. Uh, as my baby there, Olive. And these are going to get rubbed down, and also we're going to be using some uh, garlic. And that's going to go into a 400 degree oven. And we're going to blister these things up and uh, get them ready for our new way of eating. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to have a nice glass of Chianti. And we're going to get this slicing of the eggplant. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grilling these on top of the stove. I'm going to be using my Lodge uh, cast iron. And we're going to slice these up kind of evenly. Uh, I'm going to do this freestyle, freehand, rather than using a slicer. And uh, that's the new way of doing things. I'm going to be trying just going back to the old way of doing things. I'm going to brush these with a little bit of olive oil. Not too much because you don't want the smoke. I don't want the smoke detectors going up in the house. So this is more or less dry uh, grilling them. I'm not calling it a grill. It's on a griddle. So I'm just trying to make the, the marks on it. Not cooking it all the way through. Because this will get finished in the oven. Also, the rest of them will be put into the freezer uh, for another, another time I cook. Okay, there they are. Free eggplant, grilled. 
I'm going to put them off to the side, let them cool off a little bit. And we're going to continue making this dinner. Now, that is fresh homemade sausage that I made. Now, that's sweet sausage. I have no heat in that. And that's going to be the makings of the stuffed Anaheim peppers. Uh, well, they're gorgeous. Now, we're going to be using four of them, a little eggplant right there, and I brushed them a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put them to the side and just let them sit while we put the rest of those together. Now, rather than using a canned tomato sauce, which nothing's wrong with that, but I'm going to use all fresh ingredients with this. This is whole, clean foods uh, that I'm going to be using. Rather than, like I said, from the can, which I will, uh, somewhere along the, along the line of the Mediterranean aspect of the, my keto lifestyle here. But right now I'm going to use fresh ingredients and just show you the importance of good, clean food. Now, I'm going to be chopping up an onion, but I'm going to do, not the whole onion, just probably half of it. Uh, and that's going to go also onto the griddle, just to put some marks on it, and uh, get it trans translucent. Uh, try to slice it consistently thin. And also, I'm going to be chopping up some whole garlic. Okay, we're coming to my favorite part right here. Is blending foods together to give it that extra delicious aromatic taste and flavor. Now, chopped garlic, chopped fresh basil, fresh parsley, and then top it with olive oil and let that sit. I'm telling you, there's nothing better ever just for the aroma alone. Uh, it's amazing, simply amazing. You actually eat with your eyes and you also, the smell, get your taste buds going.
Now, for that little briny taste, I'm going to be adding in some capers. Uh, two tablespoons of capers should do it. Uh, great flavor again, great taste, and nothing but whole foods. All right, the chef needs a little vino, so we're going to have a little break here. Now, we're going to get ready to start the sausage. Okay, you see the onions on the griddle. Just going to get them a little translucent, put some marks on them. Uh, they'll finish cooking, like I said, in the oven. Now, the sausage I'm going to get kind of small. I don't want it too chunky. Uh, they're going to get mixed in with, with the cheese. So, uh, just keep breaking this down a little bit. Uh, like I said, sweet sausage. This is going to go great with them Anaheims, I'm telling you. We'll just keep flipping these around a little bit here. Keep breaking them up smaller and smaller. Uh, this sausage is homemade, like I said. I made it a month or so ago. Now, I'm going to be using some ragolta cheese. My friend over at Cooking Secrets for Men, Charlie, would be happy with that. Also, I'm going to be using a, a, a prevolone. Uh, this stuff is unbelievable. As you can see, the price very expensive also. But you know what? If you want to eat good, actually, you have to pay for it. Also, can't forget the Romano cheese, fresh grated. And it's a little mixed in there with some pecorino also. Now, this Prevolone, okay, is very, it has a sharp taste to it. So either you can probe with me or you can Provolone. Cheesy joke, wasn't it? All right, let's give this a try. I mean, the aroma is unbelievable. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love this.
Okay, let's recap this. Grilled eggplant. Thinly cut plum tomatoes. Thinly sliced grilled onion. Parsley, basil, chopped garlic, and olive oil. Pecorino Romano cheese. And also provolone. That's sharp provolone. Now I'm going to top this with some Tommy spice. That is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. And we're going to top this off with olive oil. That's going to go into a 400 degree oven and wait for its partner. Stuffed Anaheim peppers with sausage, rogota cheese, provolone, Pecorino Romano, also with olive oil, garlic, parsley, and basil. So, do you think I was done? Eh, nope. Now, I got some thinly sliced prosciutto. As I call it, prosciutto. Hey, it took me a while to find this. I found a nice Italian specialty store here in Vegas. I'll tell you what. Come to find out, these guys are pretty close to me where I used to live in New Jersey. Anyway, thinly sliced prosciutto, also imported salami, which I'll be cutting up. Yep, we're going to make a cold end of pasta. Right, it's going to consist of some prosciutto, some thinly sliced salami, also that roasted red pepper, and I'm going to have some of that provolone, some Greek olives with the seeds, cured, and some fenouk. Right, I'll let that settle in a little bit, fenouk. Well, some sliced up fennel. That's some of my favorite stuff right there. Okay, let's put this together. Now, would you look at that? I mean, that is delicious looking. You eat with your eyes. Uh, let's taste this here. Nice cold and pasta. Roasted red peppers. Prevalone was off the charts. My favorite olives. The prosciutto. Salami. And my fennel. I call it fennel. Dip that in a little bit of olive oil. Oh man, nothing better. A great way of eating. It didn't take a lot. I wanted to show a full video of everything, how to prepare everything. Because you know what? I believe it's important that you see exactly how things are done. Without one, two, three, cut through a video and, and just. I wanted to show you that this is a great way of eating, healthy. I mean, it just doesn't get any better. And on top of it, to share it with the one you love, salute, Marie. Hey, listen, I'm Tom Garvey. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, you know what? 
this new Mediterranean keto lifestyle. It's going to be good. Catch you next time. Enjoy. Stay safe. I'll talk to you later.